Mango tree blooming at growplants.org. Uh, so today we'll talk about this mango. I have uh, four kinds of mangoes. Uh, two are grafted and two are... Uh, I saw them. Um, the main reason I also grafted it. So this is an uh, Indian variety, very very nice. Uh, Gailur, it's an S shape, but it doesn't matter. So, few tips about about the blooming. First, there is some problem with the weather uh, the last few years. So we have years that not all the varieties uh, blooming. Nobody knows why. It's all the area, so it's not something that I do not uh, I do not uh, do well. It's uh, actually miles and miles of non-blooming uh, mangoes from the same variety. If you have different kind of varieties, uh, you might uh, enjoy. So I grow here varieties. Uh, actually, if you can see here, I have a little mango that's supposed in one day to switch this big mango because I didn't like the base of the tree that uh, I grafted on this. So I took another one. And uh, this is small, so it's uh, quite of impressive. And I just keep it small until one day this uh, mango. But I, we are not about this. So what we need to know about the blooming. Uh, first, it's very fragile. Uh, do not play with it. Do not touch it too much. It makes uh, the blooming fall. Uh, all the stem is in the base uh, can fall. Uh, especially in winds. We have uh, some winds here this week. Very strong uh, I think uh, 50 miles per hour or something like this. Very, very strong. So it's make a lot of flowers to go down. I hope that this year we'll have from this tree. It's not very uh, protected, so we have a problem. I'll try to show you all the tree. That's uh, quite of impressive, the blooming. And of course, I have uh, this one. It's against uh, the small spiderman that you saw. It's against the uh, birds. Uh, not really helping, helping but uh, you know, we tried. So, it attracts bees, but not always enough. So, I, I recommend to put something that will attract. We have here uh, holly basil. It's, uh, I put here several places in the garden in order to attract a lot of pollinators. Okay, uh, that's all from growplants.org. Another thing that I forgot about the flowers that in the moment that you have fruits, uh, sometimes if you see that it's too much and the, the small fruits after this uh, you need to take some uh, how do you say uh, take some fruits down uh, mostly the tree is okay and do it by itself some varieties not do it so you need to know your tree so if you need oh, and another thing if you can see here um, no you can't see but ants also pollinate uh, so yes they help to the aphids to come to the tree and they really kill my trees every year and it's a fighting but in this season I let I don't fight with an ant so much because they increase the amount of fruits I have here some ants on the flowers and that's all okay so there will be also varieties uh, another video for the fruits that's all from growplants.org sorry about the long video I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, visit our website and of course like this video, hope you enjoy.